Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to this reading. Um, we're going to be looking at your person's current energy. So if there's someone in mind um, that you're dealing with romantically, this reading is for you. And if you were led to click on this reading, then chances are there is something here um, that is going to help you along the way. Something that you need to know about your current situation with your person. So I'm going to lay out a um, big spread here i'm going to be using a couple of decks to see what the current energies are um, and what's coming up around your person as well so let's see the messages that you need to hear regarding this person okay let's use the right awake deck first Okay, a few more cards, let's see. I get a sense straight away that with the Ace of Wands and the Justice card, what I'm getting is that this person wants to make sense of something. They want to do something to make things right. Now, the opportunity to make things right is next to this person here with the Ace of Wands, um, whether or not they are a fire sign. So we've got Scorpio, we've got Cancer, Cancer's come up twice, we've got Libra, so you might be dealing with one of those signs. Um, but I feel like the first card that came out, it actually popped out, was the Ace of Wands. So I feel like there is some sort of opportunity for your person in this present energy to fix things or to make something right again, to even out a certain situation that has gone wrong. Okay, we've got the justice card here as well. And this makes me feel like this person is trying to justify something in their mind. And I also feel like they're trying to make something right here. I get there's more of an opportunity for this person to act, okay? I feel like there's cards that are indicating this person is not taking that opportunity as things are right now, okay? They're actually turning their back on an opportunity to change things, to make things better, to stay, take a step forward. I feel the cards that are showing me this are these ones. So this is strong air energy, but it's also cancer, strong cancer energy. Um, okay, so so when I see this, could be a cancer that you're dealing with. Um, I feel like because cancers are so emotional, sometimes they can try to hide from their emotions because they don't know how to deal with it. So some of you may be dealing with a cancer this person has come up. Maybe they're feeling more emotions than they used to. But I, I also feel like um, cancer can be like quite a protective energy. Um, and sometimes they're known to hold grudges. Okay, so it could be that there is an opportunity for someone here to make something right, but they're not doing it because they're too much in an emotional state. They're possibly holding a grudge here or they've turned their back on you. Okay, so there's someone that maybe feels like they want to move on completely. They want to turn, turn around and just move on with their life. Um, it's like they're turning themselves away from an opportunity, though, that could that could change the situation. I feel they're not 100% comfortable with that, though, because I feel like the Page of Swords is, is, it's like, often to me, it's a card of, like, regret or remorse. Um, so it could be like a regret that this person has, or they keep revisiting some kind of thought here, yet they're not taking the action about it. They're thinking about doing something, but they're not taking the action. In fact, they're trying to just avoid the situation entirely and just completely remove themselves from it. They're trying to detach in a way. So detachment is happening, especially if you've broken up with this person with the death card or there was a secret that got, you know, um, made to the forefront. Um, maybe they're trying to put an ending. They're trying to put everything behind them could also be that there is a secret person that they're going to, that they're running to, to help solve their problems. Um, it can be some sort of secret that they're harboring with a death card. Or it can be that they need to make some sort of transformation in their life. Okay, this person has to undergo some sort of transformation. Um, and that's sort of highlighted with the death card. Looking straight towards the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a very 
powerful symbol of change um, and knowing when the time is right, I feel like they'll make this transformation when the time is right. Now, it's going to depend on where your person is in their internal journey, in their spiritual journey, where they are in love, where they are in life, um, their age, their experience. So there's a lot of factors that come into play here. We've got Capricorn with that devil card here, so uh, the devil so it could be Capricorn means like they need to come into a more level-headed energy and that's that transformation that needs to take place. And that could be what leads this person to taking that initial opportunity that's still around them here with the Ace of Wands. So they've got the opportunity, but they're not doing anything about it. And it's probably causing you frustration. They're probably just like completely closed off. Um, maybe they're not responding. They've blocked you. You know, it's a closed off kind of energy. They're, they're wanting peace and they're wanting time away from the situation. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just emotionally too overwhelming. They're trying to turn their back on the situation. Um, but there's subconscious activity happening here for them. So even if you think that this person doesn't care, um, you know, I'm not in their thoughts, I'm not in their mind, didn't I mean anything to them? You know, you might be questioning these things. Um, but in truth, you are still in their subconscious, okay? Their subconscious can't just... The unconscious mind can't just erase your thoughts, your memories, your attachment, your connection. Um, let's see when this person could take action. If anything comes up in regards to this person taking action and when. Okay, they'll take action when they've healed from a situation. So they're in a period of healing. Okay, they've got the Tower card. So I feel like they needed this shake-up for them because it's going to be a life-changing, life-altering event. So the Tower card means they need to go through this Tower moment and they need to do it alone, possibly without you there helping them. So there's something that they need to do for them. Uh... I feel like they have a lesson to learn. It could be something you wished, okay, something you wished for them to learn. It's like the child being scolded. So it's like, might have been childish in a situation or not known how much they've hurt you or upset you have done something. So they need to be schooled in this. Like they need, a, they need to be taught something. I feel like the universe is preparing them for quite a big lesson. I do feel like they will come out victorious. So I feel like there is a big lesson that's gonna be learned here. Um, I feel like that's sort of coming up as six of ones. So I feel like they will take the action eventually, um, but not right now. Right now, I feel like they're still going through all the tough things, um, the emotions, the burden. They're still going through all that kind of energy. So they're probably not ready. Even if they were to transform and come back to you and take that opportunity, they wouldn't be ready. Um, and it would probably be the same problems over and over again. Um, and then it's like this repetitive energy. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is here, so it's telling me it's going to be a slow transformation and this is going to take time. Um, yeah, okay, we've got the Moon that's showing up here again. So it's telling me it's something that needs to happen in their subconscious mind and then it'll happen in the, the conscious and it will play out in reality. Um, the three of pentacles, I feel like in some way they will seek your support. Um, in some way they may reach out or show that they need your help. I think seeing that three of pentacles, I think you'd probably be open to giving them support, whatever that support is, whether it's checking in on them, um, guiding them through something, helping them overcome an addiction, um, being there for them, you know, helping raise a child that isn't yours we find ourselves in all these precarious situations where we don't always want to help but we do so because we care and that moon energy is telling us that we care um and our emotions will get the better of us but i feel like if if they were to come into a position where they would ask for your help you would chances are you'd probably give it to them unless they've done you know unless that tower card tower card has caused too much damage um and things are just too far gone Otherwise, I feel like you will, you will be there to help them if they need it. 
Um, but be careful it's not just a trick to, to get an ego boost because the Queen of Wands is here. So I wonder if it's a genuine, like them seeking help or if it's just a, I need to know you still care type thing. Um, I need to see, I need to test you. So, you know, uh, the alter ego is very powerful and I feel like it may um, impact why this person is seeking help and why they might be reaching out. You know, are they extending an olive branch for the right reasons? Um, are they reaching out for reasons just to see that you will still be there for them and they can continue doing what they're doing? You know, they may be testing you in some ways. Again, it could be a subconscious test as well. Because lo lots of moon activity, which is telling me it's like, it's a bit, it's like a cycle. They've possibly done this before. You've experienced this before. It's repetitive or cyclical behavior um, that is coming into the picture here. I will leave it at that though. So thank you again, everyone, so, so much for tuning in. It really does mean a lot. Um, thank you for all your support on my channel. I am wishing you well. And if you are after a private reading, please feel free to email me. My email is listed in the About Me section on my YouTube channel. Um, and we can try and arrange a private reading with you. Otherwise, please like, share and subscribe to the channel to get notifications for readings for your sign, your element, um, or just divine masculine and feminine and love readings. Um, so you'll get updates about when those will be posted to the channel. Otherwise, again, thank you so much, everyone. Take care, lots of love, and bye for now.